Well, how do the chums to I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, for you guys in the view of verse, I want to talk about these optional milestones inside of the Liquidator's Expedition. Yes, exactly how to trigger them, how to know when you've done your daily take. Yeah, let's get into this, people. Let's jump on over to the old Tinterwebs firstly, shall we? I guess. Okay, people, right, so if I bring up the old Twitter page here, we've got this. It says, for anyone wondering, the limit of the community participation of the expedition, you can submit 150 actions per platform per day. At the moment, I haven't looked into it close enough to tell you what you submit. Now, I think this is kills. So I think this is the little green creatures that spawn around waypoints. And I think it also counts even perhaps the sentinels. I'm not 100% sure, but it also counts the big bugs and the little hive bugs, I believe. That's what I believe anyway. But yes, it is quite difficult to actually tell exactly what's going on here. But it looks like it's going to be running until September the 2nd which is quite a fair old time. Now we do know that part two is supposed to arrive before the end of the summer. And the summer here in the UK, I think the official last day of summer is either the 22nd or 23rd of September. Be sure to correct me in comments. Yes, it's just a quick Google search, I know. But yes, anyways, it looks like it's gonna end on the 2nd of September. So we've got quite a lot of time to be turning this stuff in. So you know what, let's jump on over into game and let's do that. But I have spotted, I need to restart my PC. So I'm going to be doing that quickly. Oh, sorry there, people. Way. Before we jump on over into game, there's one more thing. So Sean of the Murrays has actually put up here. It says, join the Liquidator Vanguard. Since yesterday, the community have already come together to kill around 6.5 million bugs in our latest expedition. So it seems to be perhaps it is just the bugs that they're tracking, but we can give it a bit of a test, I suppose. Do your part and crush the vile bugs. Uh, small bugs, large bugs, all sorts of types of bugs. But then that bomber boy has chimed in to, still, to say, still far from the 250 million you want us to actually destroy. So yeah, we've got a lot to go before we start unlocking these mech parts. I mean, come on. So let's get into this, shall we, people? Let's do our part. Let's get inside a game. Okay, John, so if you're not too sure what we're on about when it comes to the expedition and the Val Brood, if you go to your expedition tab, and after you've completed doing all the milestones, you've got these optional milestones. We're on optional milestone, purged by fire, number one. So if you hit that, it actually tells you here, do your part by liquidating as many biological horrors, that's the little green ones, the sentinels and the spawlings of the vile brood as possible. So it's the little younglings, it's everything pretty much. So jump on in and start the slaughter. So anyways, here we go. Um, yeah, let's get on. Let's let's go get some. All right, got you. And I'm flying down in my ship. And we're going to go down to the planet and do a little bit of combat. Ah, you see at the bottom there, it actually says my individual kills, 50 and counting. It stops counting at 50 each day. It's supposed to renew each day. The only thing is, the last time I played this was probably around about 6 of the PMs yesterday. And it's not quite 6 of the PMs today. So I don't know at what point it actually resets, but I've got a feeling that me doing my part isn't going to register all that much. So I don't know whether it's worth me doing this right now, and maybe I should be doing this video tomorrow, or else this counter is going to be perpetually stuck at 50. So yeah. I might have to come back into this tomorrow to get that counter to show anything true. But, you know, it has been said on that Twitter post earlier that it actually goes up to 150. So even if you are seeing 50, just carry on murder Kate and stuff and you're still doing your part. So, yeah, might as well. I might as well just have a bit of fun anyway, people. So let's land and let's start taking out some bugs, shall we? OK, well, I've got my um, exo mech here to give me a hand too. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop one of those uh, lovely little bug grubs, if I've got any left, that is. Where's my bug grubs? Did I pop all of them? No, I've still got one left. There we go. Boom. Come on then. Where are you, vile brood? There it is, right behind me. Take that, you vile queen of evil. I'm going to take out some of the little ones as well. There we go. And of course, the little ones, they don't take as much killing. So, might as well, mind we? Boom. Take that, you. 
Spawn of Satan? Like yes. Oh, I better reload my good old trusty plasma launcher. Fire that into its freaking body. Take that! Boom! Just blew one of its panels off there. Watch out, Exo Mech. I'm trying to get the last panel off its back. There we are. Still got a couple of bits of exoskeleton left on its legs. Take that. Creature! This will teach you for bugging people. Ha! <laughs> See what I did there. Boom! And he's done. Okay, well, like I say, you know, we're not going to see that counter change. So this is just a little mini tutorial on what these optional milestones are all about. Now we're currently at 40% of that progress bar, and that's just to unlock step one inside of the actual Quicksilver store. I don't think we can see what's available inside of the Quicksilver stores yet. I could be wrong. Let's just go and check it out inside of the Nexus and take a look at what's actually happening there, people. So let's fly on up. So when it says your daily turn in amount, people have been confused, saying, where do I turn it in? It, it, you don't turn it in, it's just a counter. That counter in the bottom corner there, should technically revert back to zero, at least I think it should, every 24 hours or so, and then the count starts over. And as soon as it hits 50, you've done your part for that day. But apparently there's an ambient counter in the background that does go all the way up to 150 per day. So yeah, it's one of those, to be honest, peeps. So let's uh, jump on out, let's go on over to the Quicksilver Terminus, and let's see if Johnny Five, the Quicksilver Merchant, I call him that, is actually the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion, which is a bit of a mouthful, but he looks like that robot from Short Circuit to me. Let's head on over. Hello there, Johnny Five. And if I go to Create Exotic Items from Quicksilver, these are the parts that we're working to. So oddly enough, we've got Tier 2, Tier 3, Tier 4 and Tier 5. Well, what happened to tier one? Oh, okay. Anyway, we've got the liquidator arms. Nice. The legs, the body, and then we've also got the liquidator right arm, which contains a fl flamethrower, which is freaking gnarly. Okie dokie, people. So that's that, and you can actually see the progress bar from quite a far way back. You don't have to run all the way over to it. It's actually above the kiosk, and you can see there we're about 40%. And where that's tied into is in here. You can see it there as well. Tier 1 at 40%. So I'm wondering whether we've got to do all of Tier 1, and then we've got to do all of Tier 2 before we actually unlock the left arm. Tier 3, we unlock the legs. Tier 4, we unlock the body. And then at the end of it, we get the right arm. I don't think we're getting anything at the end of Tier 1, if I'm reading this correctly, people. Which is a bit of a disappointment, isn't it? But anyways, it gives us time to jump on in, do our daily quotas and all that sort of shenanigans. Lovely jubbly. I'm just going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, create a save, and I'm hoping by the time that Monday rolls around, I'm not going to touch this all day Sunday, and then hopefully on Monday, hopefully I'll be able to do my kill count. Not only on my PC, but I could also do it on my PlayStation. So there we go, people. Hopefully that's given you a nice little insight into the whole thing when it comes to optional milestones and missions and doing all that sort of shenanigans because I've had quite a fair few questions about it and a little bit of confusion about how you go about turning in the actual rewards which you don't turn it in it's just automatic it just clocks it up in the background people so anyway hopefully that's made a lot more sense to you and if not feel free to ask questions hopefully people inside my comments will answer them or I might answer them myself Till next time, you've been freaking awesome. Have a very good weekend. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Thank you, Echo 7 to go to game. Thank you for becoming a super member. I haven't managed to update the credits yet. I will. Here is a song. I hope you like it. Good at game. Good at game. Damn, you mad fish becoming good at games. Playing retro and VR titles. Having fun with everyone. The goosey style is awesome and odd. Some come say hello, get good at game or not. Good at game. Good at game. Good at game. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Becoming a super member. I haven't managed to update the credits yet. I will. 
Here is a song, I hope you like it. Good at game, good at game. Damn, you mad fish becoming good at games. Playing retro and VR titles. 